you know, is this on plane, is that on plane? It doesn't really matter because I know where the cupboard is. So I'm just letting go, you see. Well, yeah. yeah. Right, I'm in the car, so sorry if the sound is a little bit crap, it might be a bit echoey, but I'm at a golf club that I've never been to before, so I don't really want to stroll around the car park vlogging with everyone looking at me thinking I'm a knob or realising that I am a knob. I'm here for a lesson, but I think it's going to be quite different. I'm not going to bother telling you too much about what I'm expecting to happen, because obviously in the next few minutes you're going to see what has happened, so um, that seems pointless, but to give you a quick bit of background, Obviously, if you've been watching my videos for a while, then you'll know at the start of the season, I was working with um, a coach called Sinjin McNabb, who's a guy based in Germany. So I went over there and we spent a couple of days working at my swing, and he's been over here a couple of times. And then in between that, we were doing bits on WhatsApp, sort of sending each other videos and that kind of stuff, um, which was working well for a while, but we haven't been able to get together for the last two months. Um, and in that time, it's been a real struggle to kind of make it work. So in the last couple of weeks, I've had a couple of lessons locally, um, but to be honest, I feel really lost at the moment with my golf swing. I feel like I'm working at things which I can't really seem to get right, even in the lesson, let alone sort of on the driving range, um, kind of movements and positions. And I therefore think if I can't even get it right then, how far away am I from actually taking that into doing it on the golf course in a competition when it matters. Now it's not a criticism of the coaches, I think I'm getting good information um, and they're able to show me you know, exactly what they're talking about, what I'm doing wrong, what I need to do right, but for one reason or another, I can't get it. Um, and it's frustrating, I mean, I just feel like, why is golf so complicated and technical? Like, you know, I'm decent at loads of other sports and I don't spend hours thinking about the exact position that I'm in when I'm trying to kick a football or you know hit a tennis shot and I don't watch 10,000 videos about how to pass a ball, how to throw something, it's just simple, it comes quite naturally. Whereas with golf I just feel like you know I'm looking at my swing and thinking well I'm not entitled to play well because look at you know how flat my takeaway is or this kind of stuff and I just feel like I'm sort of massively over complicating and getting too technical with things so I'm thinking about you know, where's my sort of wrist set and my hinge of my wrist enough? Do I need to bow them more? Do I need to shallow the club in transition? Do I need to get 60% of weight into my left foot rather than 50%? You know, what degrees of hip turn do I need? What about my shoulder plane? All this stuff and a million times more things. Um, and like, that's so far away from just being able to play golf. And obviously as a result of that, I'm not playing that well. I mean, I've had some rounds where I've scored okay, but I can't remember the last time I had a round where I hit the ball really solidly. Um, yeah, it's not going well. So yeah, let me know if you've ever kind of felt like this, what you've done to fix it and get past it. But yeah, I'm gonna go and see this guy and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm uh, Danny Burstyn, uh, Golf Lessons Nottingham. And today we're gonna to, uh, do some coaching and, and hopefully get you back to your natural swing so we're not conscious of any positions in the swing we're gonna let it let it flow um, start to focus on external thoughts not thinking of positions as a kid I, I played to a decent level uh, got to scratch early 16 and then I was told I need to change my swing to improve so I had a lot of coaching and then find that I'd gone from what was subconscious to conscious thinking I'm actually getting worse thinking well the more lessons I have the better but actually I was getting worse so so then I thought this is just this is becoming torture. So I wasn't enjoying the game. So uh, since then, I've you know I've, I've just looked at natural ways of swinging the club, not thinking about positions and just letting it. Trying to get back to how I used to play as a kid, really seeing the shot and doing it. So actually, you know, playing golf as a, as opposed to playing swing and positions. The best thing for me is if I get a beginner come who's never played golf, I can't wait because it's easy. I know they've got no preconceptions of the swing. If you've got a guy who's played for 25 years, difficult to change because yeah. they perceive they need to think about the swing. Um, but again, if you're open-minded and you let it happen, it will it will go. Yeah, let's hope so. Put the club behind your back. And just let the weight of the arms hold the club there, so you're not covering any tension. Yeah. Okay. Feet shoulder width apart, and then I want you to be looking forward. So when we look forwards, we're, we're keeping balance. Okay, so if you were walking on a tight road, you look forwards. When, you, when you're walking, you're looking forwards, you're not looking down. So that helps balance, because we need the balance in the swing. Just 
feel the weight in the toes. We need the toes again to, to move. Okay? And then we're going to focus just out there. Yeah. Try and pick a spot, ideally, like maybe. Yeah, I've got one. Sure, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then just watch me to start and look pause. And then with, you're going to feel it in your toes. So you're going to push from, from your left toe to the way we're going to the right foot. And from the right foot, you're going to finish looking there. And I'm going to hold the balance. The ball's in motion for seven seconds. We're holding that balance there. We should be able to lift this foot. Okay. So we focus on the finish, not on what's happening down here. Yeah. Okay. So let's just start to free that up now. Left foot, right. Foot. That's it. That should be. Any, that's your swing. That's it. Right. Okay. So we're going to set up here. Relax. Gravity's doing its job to pull it to the floor. And again, we're, we're taking focus away from the ball. There's no ball there anyway, so relax, look up. No tension. And we're going to start from the ground up, so it's, it's feet first. So it's left foot, and then relax, right foot, and we finish. And we stay in balance again, just for three seconds on this shot. But on, when we hit the ball, we hold for seven. So relax, feel it in the toes. And notice it's not my arms going first, it starts from the ground. So it's, so it's left foot, right foot. You can see I'm, I'm creating like a tail to it. So have a few swings there for me, right? Yeah. right. I'm scared. Yeah. Because <laughs> right. you know what's coming, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> so looking over at the yeah, same. Yeah. So there's no ball. So think of it, there's no ball. Yeah. I don't need to look down. Just just yeah, create just the movement from the floor. Look yeah. up. Right, left foot. Right foot. Relax. Hold the thing. Yeah. You see there, there's a... That's it, yeah. <laughs> right. Let gravity do its job, look. You see how you didn't hit the floor because you were reacting to gravity. Yeah, look right. up. Here we go. Left foot, right foot. Right foot. So one, two, three. So the focus is, is the finish of the swing, not what's happening down here. The ball, the ball is going to get in the way of the swing in a minute. Now the problem is, um, when I put a ball there, that's the panic, right? So let me just panicking let me enough already. Yeah. Let's add a bit of stress by putting the ball there. So the pump, what happens is, um, you see it when you play with people, they'll, they'll do this lovely practice swing, and then we put the ball there, and now there's a reaction to the ball. So nothing, you haven't changed your swing, it's you've reacted to the ball on the floor. And, and often people will say, I come over the top, I'm coming over the top. It's not that you're coming over the top, it's that you're, you're reacting to the ball on the floor. So when you, when you do your practice and you don't react to the ball, you do a lovely playing, uh, you know, you, there's a nice shallow, then the ball's there, react to the ball. And the reason why is because when we, when we look at the ball and then we swing back, the club head's behind me and the ball's in front, so now the reaction is to get it back to the ball, okay? Now obviously when, the, when there's no ball there, there's no reaction, so we just let go. So, right, you ready? Scared. So, so, set up. Just swing and just move from left foot to right foot. And just swing and just even if you don't hit the ball, just just let it happen. Okay. So soft, relax. Left foot, swing, hold the finish. And we, ideally, we want to hold for seven seconds, but just just focus on feeling relaxed. Left foot, right foot. Just let that. So there should be no tension at all in the swing. Yeah. Okay. Once again. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling the end of the club, I'm just letting gravity do its job. Relax, hold the finish. Nice. Yeah. And just let go. It's scary to start with. Yeah. Because my perception is if I'm not looking, I'm going to miss it. But when we when we start to feel the end of the club, I, so even there, look, I, I'm not looking at the ball. I, I'm not really bothered where the club is, but I know where the, it's, it's in space. It's in the <laughs> Yeah. You know, is this on plane? Is that on plane? It doesn't really matter because I know where the cupboard is. So I'm just letting go, you see. Well, yeah. yeah. So you just got to build it. It's scary, but but what that's showing, if you can hit the ball not looking, the technique has to be perfect. By looking at the ball, you know, like learn how to compensate. Right? You're scared, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> but well, what impressed, you got to say? Impressed as well, though. Yeah. But you. But. Enjoy. You see, I'm not, I'm not conscious of yeah. the, the clock here. I'm just swinging. Relax. 
because I don't know whether I'm setting up for the ball or not, but I'm not bothered, I'll just swing. It might be there, there, but just swing, left foot, relax. Because I'm not reacting to anything, you can see there's a nice shallow end of the plane here, okay? This will train your natural swing. So soft. And again, it's left foot and relax. On the finish. Just let it, just let it let go, yeah? Right, come on. <laughs> oh, dear. So is this the only way that you coach now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. So I have had people in the, I have had people ring me and say, can you teach me the old way? And I say, no, I just, I'm not being honest with you, I can't do it. It's just, you know, and uh, don't get me wrong, I've lost people through it because they perceive it to be not what they want to do, they want information, but I can't, there's no way I can go back to that. Just, I know it's wrong, you know, this is, this is it. And, and the proof's there. Right, you ready? Ready yeah. to fail. Yeah. <laughs> so grip. Uh, yeah. Have a few swings first, just get through there. Yeah. Knock up, it's left foot. You must feel the weight of the club, that's it. And you must finish the swing for three seconds, off you go. Right. So one, two, enjoy the feeling of being relaxed again in the swing. Right? Can we do it? Yeah. Whatever happens, if you miss the ball, top the ball, whatever, you must finish the swing. Get okay. used to finishing. Right. right. So a little bit further away from the ball, so feel the weight in the toes, remember? Yeah. Look up, relax, relax, you just swing from one foot to the other, off you go. Left foot, relax, so one, two, three, not bad. Okay, relax. Try and just feel that weight in the toes, so you're a little bit further away from the ball. Okay. okay. That's good. Feel the weight in the foot, the head's heavy, that's it, nice, relax. Yeah. Look up, don't worry about the ball, just swing, off you go. Left foot, and relax. Hold the finish, one, two, right and breathe. <laughs> Most people hold the breath. Yeah, I think I was. Yeah. Right, relax, look up. Just swing there, no tension. Off you go, left. Hold the finish, relax, breathe. It's nice, good shot. Good. So this is your golf swing, it's not golf. What does it look like? The proof's in the shot. What I find now is after one lesson, the next lesson we're playing golf, not yeah. on 10 weeks. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, it's, it's, the, process, the learning process is quicker as opposed to day one is grip, day two is yeah. posture. By the time you've had lesson 10, you're bored because you want to play golf. You're not thinking about takeaway position, backswing, left arm, left wrist. It's all happening naturally. Obviously the grip's got to be right, you've got to understand you move from the floor um, and, and finish and that's it. And then the focus becomes what we do with the ball, but this, this, this from day one is a as a beginner, their experience of golf is like, oh, this is easy. One guy said to me, I can't believe how easy this is. And I've never had that in golf before. Yeah. Everyone says how hard it is. Yeah. So, so that, I knew this, I'm on to something. If somebody says, I can't believe how easy it is. Yeah. Okay. Right, let's, now we've got the comf, now we're doing it. Let's start to let the handbrake off now. Let's, let's let it go. So there's no, no tension. Come on, just swing from one foot to the other, hold the finish. Balance one, two, three. See, it's, see, that's stressful trying to hold it for three when you've shanked it. Right, well, it's not normal, yeah. Dramatic. But rather than focusing on what went wrong, just focus on grip, yeah. movement. No, just swing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the ball comes to rest after seven seconds. Yeah. What's that shot? Maybe shot eight or nine, I don't know, really. not many. And, and technically your swing is changing, it has to to the ball, but I'm not telling you, it's fine and it actually I don't like to kind of talk technically, but as you do that, I've club nails outside the hand. Yeah, rather than, if I use my arm, yeah. that's it. So it's just, it's, by changing the sequence of your movements, that will alter what, where the club goes. So I see a massive difference in, in when people hit a ball as opposed to no ball. So if, if we're saying there's no ball by looking up there, the swing changes. When I say look at the ball, things change, but I use this as a, as a tool to... Is that enough of this, it will become it won't be irrelevant. The ball is what we call the ball disappears, the ball's not even there. It's just in the way of the swing, as opposed to, right, I need to try and get my left wrist flat, yeah. from hips open. 
all that's happening because you're moving from Okay, relax. Sit, no tension, just let it go now. Come on, left foot, right foot, let it go. Left, right, right, that's better. Relax, breathe. That's it. Let's we'll see where we can take you now, just let's go. So let me try and show you. So feel, feel this, um, feel this tail, yeah? Don't be frightened of this tail, so setting up, relax. Feel the, feel the, feel the tan, just let oh, go. Yeah. Yeah. Just let that go. So, my focus is not the ball, relax. No tension, I don't know where the ball is. I know where the club head is, because I can feel it, because there's no tension. I'm just letting go, relax. <laughs> Hold it in it. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> Everyone can do this, you know, you don't have to be a, a tall plane, but it doesn't matter, just swing, create the create the motion, sit and relax. Jeez. There's total freedom through that, isn't there? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me. <laughs> I've not told you any all I've said to you is is just swing from one foot to the other and just go. Okay? If they react to the weight of the club, that's when it goes wrong. But it's easier, if we take focus off the ball, it's easier not to react. Just swing. Just let go, that's it. You know, and, and just, just let it happen. So there's no tension. So I'm hardly holding that club. It's so, it's so relaxed and I'm just letting it, letting it relax. Swing through, that's it. You know, I'm talking in the swing, so I've got to be relaxed. Yeah. And I'm moving. And just let, you know, could go there. There's, there's no position in the swing. It's, it's just a natural move with left, right, <laughs> and that's just gets easier and easier. And then we play golf, so we just look at the target. So then it becomes the focus is out there. Then so when I play golf, it's right. Do I do I fade the ball? Do, you know, you know how to shape it, but through here, not through positions. Okay. So I think. Right. Obvious question is, do you play golf like this? Um, I want to. I want to. I'm scared though. <laughs> yeah. I have done. I'm scared of. I'm scared of uh, failure almost, but it works. You see, I've just got to do it. Just got to do it. And that. Um, see, short game. The focus becomes out here. And my focus is there. So I'm focused, it's like playing darts, I'm looking at the target. Yeah. Um, the thing is, I'm not, I don't play enough, so it's that old thing, I'm scared to do it. But if I played enough, I would do it, definitely. But like, you sort of view this as valuable, like, practice. Yeah, this if, is practice. If you then go and look at the ball when you hit it, but you take the same sort of Yeah, same freedom. feeling. So you, what you, what you, through this exercise, you're creating movement, you're not thinking. And then when you go on the golf course, so when I play golf, it's right, okay, so what what do I do with the ball? I've got my natural swing, so I've trained it. Okay, so I'm looking at the target, relax. I'm just gonna play a little fade. Same, same flow, but not thinking. And then next shot might be different. Picture in the shot, left foot, right foot, might play a little draw, relax. No tension, and then we'll just swing. So, so when you hit those shots, do you think about anything? you think that left foot, right foot, or just, nothing? Just what's happening with the ball. So what we get you to do now is this, okay? So I want you to set up with the ball, relax, and just, just picture a draw in your mind, what's going to happen. So you know a draw has to go from right to left. Mm -hmm. So I want you to just picture that draw, and just try and draw it down there, okay? And then the next shot, you're going to fade it. Yeah. Picture in your mind the draw, you're going to hit a draw. Yeah. Let it go. Left foot, swing, hold the finish, breathe, hold on, then you're going to hit a little fade. So let, let the picture in your mind determine the shot, not what position you need to put it in. Yeah. To the club, there's no tension, that's it, just picture that fade. Yeah, hold the finish, good. 
just play around with it, you know, next one might be a low hook. I hit it that well for two yeah. months. <laughs> I've been looking at it. Take focus off the ball. When you play football, you know, I'm where am I, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go top left hand corner. So already you see my body's yeah. changing um, I'm gonna go bottom right, you know, just just visualise it because when you've got mindset, the skill set fits in as opposed to what what position I need to be in. So um, was it? Guy wears all on him. Ricky Fowler. Yeah. So you know the swing zone we do, he was asking him what what this little draw says, how did you do it? And he said, you could see on his face, I don't know, I just, yeah, but didn't you put the ball further back? No, no, uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I might have done. Did you check, you know, yeah, they yeah. don't know what they're doing, they're just, it's just doing it. Yeah. But then we're trying to think what to do, so no wonder we can't do it. Where we're told, right, you need to shut the face, change the grip, stand more open, yeah. um, just do it. What? Let this determine what the swing does to you thinking I've got to change the panel to it. Right, so uh, let's go low low hook again. Yeah. Hook up, relax. So and just swing. Shot. That's it, soft, relax. Relax, relax, that's it. Feel the weight of the club. Good. So the, what you should feel is the, the weight of the club is heavy there, heavy at the top, Heavy through the ball and then heavy at the finish. There shouldn't should be a point where you can't feel the weight of the foot. Right. It should be, should be totally relaxed. If you can't feel the weight of the club, you, you tension is really yeah. relaxed. Just the weight of the club, yeah. Yeah, yeah, feel it, waggle it, come on. Right, let it go. Hold the finish, relax, breathe. That was lovely, is it? Yeah, well, the proof's there, you see, that's the key. Yeah. And that's. The proof is in the shot as opposed to does it look better? The ball's doing what it should do now without, without you thinking. So. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're thinking. I can't believe I just spent 20 minutes watching some lanky twat have a golf lesson. No, I don't mean that, although to be fair, that is a fair point. I mean the fact that this whole not looking at the ball thing is a bit bonkers. I get why you're thinking that because that's exactly what I thought and I kind of still do think that to an extent. But obviously, having been the one who's actually been there, had the lesson and tried it a few times since, I'm just gonna talk about a couple of things that I found and sort of share my experience quickly with you. So first things first, just because something is a bit weird and different, doesn't necessarily mean that it's wrong. Where's he going with this? I bet when Dick Fosbury started doing the high jump backwards, he got some funny looks, but now everyone does it. And I bet that the first person you saw an egg come out of a chicken's bum and thought, maybe if I crack that and poach it and put it on an English muffin with a bit of ham and uh, hollandaise sauce, that would make a lovely egg benedict. They must have been kind of laughed out of, out of camp. Now, I'm not saying that I think every golfer is going to start doing this, that it's gonna completely revolutionize the game. I don't for a second think that that is gonna happen. I'm just saying that there's no harm in being a little bit more open-minded about things. like. For ages, years, I've wondered why not just get rid of the backswing in golf because it seems to cause so many problems. I mean, 90% of golf lessons are focused on the backswing, which just seems crazy because you don't hit the ball in the backswing. So why not just get rid of that, just put the club in the perfect position at the top. I mean, you can even stop and kind of check and realign it, make sure it's in the perfect position and then just hit it from there. Anyway, that's just a little random side thought. But like I was saying in the car before I went for the lesson, I've been hitting it really poorly for the last couple of months, but I probably didn't actually explain just how badly. So I normally draw a single line around the circumference of my ball just to use as a kind of alignment when I'm putting. Um, but when I hit shots, I'll then get a bit of a pen mark on the face of my eye and on my driver from that. Now, I've been hitting it so badly lately that if you imagine this is the club face. The mark has been so far out the toe sometimes that it's not even on the grooves. Now, I don't know why that is happening. Um, I mean, I've always been quite a decent ball striker, um, but I do know that me videoing my swing and looking at things that are wrong and trying to change the look of it to make it look a bit more like Adam Scott or Rory or whoever seems to have the perfect swing that month. Um, it's not stopped me hitting it that far out the toe. And in this lesson, when I wasn't looking at the ball, that was the first time genuinely in about two months 
where I was actually hitting pure shots right out the middle. Um, you know, nice high draws and then a little fade on demand when Danny said to me, right, let's hit a fade. Um, you know, properly struck golf shots, which was a feeling that I'd missed very much for the last few months. So clearly there was something in it, you know, like I said, the sort of classic lessons and the sort of video on my swing, I was still hitting it like an absolute dog out the toe and not looking at the ball, both in the lesson and a few range sessions afterwards, I've actually been able to find the middle and hit proper golf shots again. I'm not gonna say that I've stood there and flushed every single shot. I've also hit a few shanks and a few thins. Um, but if I was trying to make a normal big change in my golf swing, I wouldn't panic if I was hitting a few bad shots. I think if you're expecting to just start hitting it perfectly, it probably isn't a very big change in the first place because obviously you're changing something. Um, it takes a bit of time for you to get used to that change. But yeah, there's definitely been signs of hope from this no look golf shot. So in range sessions since, I've done a bit of a mixture. Um, so some no look and then some just normal shots. And in general, the no look shots are actually better than the ones where I'm looking at it. So much so that I have thought about um, taking it onto the course. The only reason I haven't yet is that every round I've played since has been a competition. Um, even then I did sort of toy with the idea of doing it in a competition, but to be honest, I was just too too worried about what was gonna happen. Um, and, you know, a bit too worried about what other people might think, which I know I shouldn't, but that's just the way it goes. If you're brave enough just to step up on the first tee in a medal, not look at the ball, swing, and not know if you're gonna rip it down the middle or shank it, 40 yards, then fair play to you. I admire that, but yeah, I'm not quite at that stage yet. Hopefully, if I keep at this and it does become a bit more natural and you know the bad shots are few and far between and the good shots are still there, then maybe I will end up giving it a go. I'll certainly give it a go on the course when it doesn't matter. Um, but like I said, it's only been competition so far, so that's just a little step too far. That was the only thing that bothered me a bit about the lesson was that Danny said that even he doesn't play golf that way. Even he practices that way but doesn't do it on the course. It made me think, well, if it's that good, then surely you'd want to be doing it. But, I mean, watching him hit balls like it on the range was honestly so impressive. It just looked so effortless. You know, you could hit draws, fades, um, all sorts of different shots. And it just looked like he was putting no effort into a swing at all. And I've kind of found that as well. So when I was, you know, hitting it badly, every range session felt like quite hard work, you know, and a bit of a grind. Whereas with this, it almost feels like I'm just sort of going for um, like a relaxing half an hour, just gently swinging. And then the ball is just fizzing out there with no effort. Now it probably sounds like I'm trying to convince you to do this whole no look golf swing thing, but I'm not. I mean, it doesn't make any difference to me if you do it or not. And if you're playing well and you're improving the way you want, then just keep doing what you're doing, then why change? But I guess by virtue of the fact you're watching this video, there's a chance that you're more in the kind of same boat as me. So struggling, a bit frustrated, trying to find a way to you know do things a bit differently. And if that is the case, then why not just give it a go? There's nothing to say that if you try it and you don't like it, you can't just go straight back to doing whatever you've been doing, if that's video in your swing or, you know, that kind of stuff. For me, I felt like it would have been more stupid to not try this because I've been trying it the other way for a couple of months and not seen any signs of improvement. Whereas trying this for half an hour in a lesson, I saw instant signs of hope. So, yeah, like I said, as scary as it is and as embarrassing as it might be, it just makes sense to me to at least give it a decent go. Anyway, I can't remember exactly what I was saying, but I'm pretty sure that I've got to the end of everything I wanted to say, and I know the video is plenty long enough already. So if you've got any questions about this or any comments, then please just do pop them down below. I'll read all of them, and I do try to reply to every single one, even if it takes me a little while to catch up with them. Um, I'll put Danny's details uh, in the description thing down below, and there's quite a few other coaches as well who are teaching this same system. So. I'll put a link to the website where you can find um, an instructor who covers this stuff closer to you if it's something you're interested in. But yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the future. So stop, relax, feel the weight of the club.
Bloody hell. Just let go.